in this episode of Dr. Lisa to the Rescue. A schedule, that is impressive. Who came up with this? A well-organized family ready to get their first dog. Who is gonna be looking after the dog? Everybody. Everyone, Everybody. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. But they need help. I've only ever had a guinea pig and a fish that died. And Dr. Lisa's search gets off to a promising start. I'm Dr. Lisa Chimes, and as an emergency vet, All right, sweetie. I've dedicated my life to saving animals' lives. Look at your messy face. Now I'm venturing out of the hospital to raise awareness about animal welfare and give mistreated and abandoned pets a new start in life. Hey, little one. I'm going to match each orphan with a loving family, one pet at a time. I know all too well that life with kids can get a little hectic and I'm going to meet a family today that have got five kids and they're about to add a dog to the mix. Things could get a little crazy. Here you go, boys. <laughs> yes, I do, Miss Collins. This is Mum Kelly and Dad Asa and three of their five children. They're ready to get a dog, but the question is, what sort? Something small to medium. Sausage dog. Sausage dog. <laughs> I'd love a Cocker Spaniel. I love Cocker Spaniels. And King Charles. King Charles Spaniels, yeah. And what and is it? Border Terriers? Border Terriers. Ah, sounds like this is going to be a tricky one. I know anything with Poodle in it are good. It's just as well Dr Lisa has arrived to help out. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hey, sir. Nice to meet you. Have you had a dog before? I have. I have. We <laughs> we have at our mum's house, but this is Kelly and Veronica's and Declan's first time having a dog. Wow. Yes, yes I've okay. never had a dog. So half of you are experienced, and the yeah. other half yep. is completely a new, inexperienced. It's a new experience. I've only ever had a guinea pig. Wow. And a okay. fish that died <laughs> after not long. Have you got an idea of what kind of dog you're looking for? Something that's kind of a portable, little yeah. friendly dog, a dog that can be inside and outside. Yeah. Something we can pop in the car as a family and go Kelly. somewhere. Yeah. Kelly, so we're definitely going to stick to small definitely. to medium size. Yes. What about allergies? Are any of the kids allergic? Asthma. Are you guys, you've got asthma. asthma? Veronica and me both break out in like itchy rashes okay. and itchy eyes. Like I walk past a pet shop and my throat and my eyes start just going, ah. <laughs> So <laughs> this will be interesting. I know. <laughs> so I think a dog that doesn't shed would be better. Yes. I don't know if that makes a difference. Yeah, no, I think, and definitely certain hair types. Yeah. A lot, some people are allergic to the saliva of dogs oh, and really? some people are allergic to the actual hair. I, yeah. I know myself, like short haired dogs, I'll get a little bit of a rash if they've got really short sort of yeah. um, coarse hair. Yeah. So, so I'll definitely keep that in mind. There are obviously a lot of people in this house, so who is going to be looking after the dog? Everybody. Hopefully. Everyone. Everybody. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. So how are you going to work out who's going to do what? Chop, chop. This is impressive. Who did this? Veronica. <laughs> this dog is organised. <laughs> a schedule, might I add. That is impressive. This is going to be one organised house. I, I yes. think we can make work? this work. <laughs> your family is obviously perfect for a dog, but what I need to make sure is that your home is as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look around the place after our chat and enter in all this information you've told me into the Real Pet Matcher program, which is going to come up with a match of a dog in a nearby shelter that works for your family. So as much information as you can give me, I'll put into the program and then we've got a better chance of finding you the right dog. All right, guys, so what I need to do now is have a look around. Would you mind showing me? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. let's go. So this is our backyard. Perfect. Pretty little, and it still needs a lot of work. We haven't been here very long. Yeah, but this is great. I mean, you want a small to medium-sized yeah. dog. This is, yeah. this is perfect space. I'm just having a look around. Your fences look pretty good. Yeah, that's all nice and secure. And, and around there is just a, a gate. the same. Yeah. yeah, OK. I see you've got some lemon plants. They can cause a bit of a tummy upset in, in dogs. Yeah. And over there, what are those ones? Spring onions. OK, well, onions are definitely quite poisonous to dogs. So yeah. it's important that they don't get any onions. 
The backyard's a really good size for a small to medium dog. It's nice and secure. And there might be some issues with some of the herbs and veggies, but I think they'll manage to sort that out. Now I just need to find them a dog that fits. Okay, I can sense some excitement happening here. You guys are great, and I've put in all um, the things you've told me into the Real Pet Match, and I've come up with a possible dog that might work, provided you agree. Would you like to see a photo? Yes, yes. definitely. Yes. definitely. Right. So... Oh, oh my God. That's like the dog I wanted to kidnap. <laughs> I saw a dog like that at the park once and was like, I want it. Oh. Oh. What do you think? Do you think it's a little face we can love? Yeah. Yeah? Is this the kind of dog you're thinking? I think work? so. So think this so. is, her name's Daisy and she's oh. two. So she's the right age as well. Yes. She's a young adult. You'll have a good long life with her. And she's a little sweetheart. She's a low shedder as well. But the most important thing is I know she looks amazing in the photo and you guys are really excited about it. You've got to come out and meet her yeah. and see if you've got that connection with her, see if you fall in love with her. So I'm going to meet you guys at the shelter and then we'll meet Daisy and see if that connection's there. Okay? Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that family is full of energy and the kids are even willing to lend a helping hand, which is great. There are some allergies which could prove to be a bit of a problem. It's just a matter of me finding them the right dog to fit the mix. The Leslie clan is ready to adopt their first dog and they've asked Dr Lisa for help. Today I'm meeting the whole family, including all five children at the Animal Welfare League. Now there are going to be a lot of opinions. I just hope they can all agree on the right dog for them. Good dog. Behaviourist Rose has lined up the first candidate. This little one could be okay, huh? So too. You're just a baby, aren't you? <laughs> Yes, what's her story? This is Pepper, mm -hmm. and she is 10 months old, and she's a beagle ear, which is a beagle. Yeah, yeah, beagle cross cavalier. Great. Great mix. Well, this family have got a lot of love to give, Great. so I'll just have a look at her, and you're a sweetheart. One issue with her might be that she sheds, and there are some allergies in the house. Oh, okay. And we'll give her a good sure. brush before and explain that they've obviously got to brush her outside yep. regularly to yeah. remove all the loose hairs, but I hope that's not a deal breaker for them. Oh, gosh. Next is Lively Poppy. Hello. Oh, oh lovely. OK, there you go. <laughs> Good dog. Hop up on the table, why don't you? It's easy, save my back. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's that um, working dog in you, that's huh? Right. That's so right. I'm guessing Border Collie, Cross Kelpie, yeah, something like that? That's right. That's exactly right. So this is Poppy, yeah. and she's one year, nine months. Oh, perfect. And very, very smart, very active. Tell that. Ready huh? for work. OK, well, this yard's nice and secure. It's not a big yard, but they are going to exercise her a lot. So right. I think that will cover it. And check you out, honey. Sounds good. Poppy is lovely. I think she's a great candidate, but so is Peppa. On the other hand, though, they both do shed some hair, which may be a problem, but I think one of these dogs would be perfect. It's time for this blended family to meet the dogs. Hi, Hello. how are you? Whole family is here today. Yes, yes. How are you all feeling? Good, good excited. Yes. yes, bit nervous, but excited. Before we get started, I do have to tell you some news that might be a little bit sad. Daisy was actually adopted. That's fine. We'll, <laughs> we'll cope. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. No, She's gone to a really lovely home. Okay. So it's really good news for Daisy, and that's what we want. We want them all to go to happy that's homes. Right. And I've got some beautiful dogs to show you today. So I think you will all like them. Okay. Would you like to come and meet yes, the yay! first one? Okay, come through. This is Poppy, Hi. and she's uh, one year and nine months old, so she's fully grown. Hello. And she's a border collie crossed with a kelpie. Oh. Uh, so she's a very clever girl and loves to play, but super affectionate. Loves to be cuddled, as you can already see, but at the same time, like if they throw some balls around, she'll be running yeah. and playing. So activity-wise, she's perfect for kids. I might just let her off the lead to burn off some extra steam. <laughs> All right, yeah, you have, let her have a sniff around. Puppy! There you go, now throw it and hope.
hopefully she'll catch it. <laughs> oh, I love how she chases. <laughs> Never mind the cold today. <laughs> She's all in. <laughs> what are you thinking? Big. Yeah, so the energy wise she's really good for when we've got the boys for the yes. weekends that we've got them but I don't think she actually suits our house a lot of the time it's just the quieter house yes. and I think just a little and she's a little bit too about. energetic I think so okay. yeah Poppy certainly has the right personality for this family but I think they're put off by her size they were hoping for a dog that's a little bit smaller so hopefully Peppa will be fitting the mold <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sausage dog. <laughs> it's not a pug. This is Peppa. She's a cavalier cross with a beagle and she's only 10 months old. So she's still a puppy but she's out of that early puppy stage. So she's fully grown. She does shed a little bit of hair but it is again that softer hair so hopefully it won't be as much of a trigger for you. Yeah. Once I let her off the lead she can have a little run around okay. you guys can have a play. She does need to go on a bit of a diet, so she, she's a little bit chunky. Yeah. She's also really good with handling. She lets us touch her around her mouth. She's not possessive of toys, and she's really healthy as well, yeah. apart from obviously being a bit overweight. Time to find out whether all seven members of this family can agree. Can I please have a show of hands? Who wants to adopt Peppa? Adopt it. Is, is it unanimous? Oh my god, we've actually agreed on something. <laughs> Considering this is a family of seven, that has to be the quickest decision I've ever seen. They fell in love with Peppa instantly. Peppa fell in love with them, loves the kids all over her. I think this is a perfect match. Pippa, Peppa, what's your name? Pippa. Pippa? Pippa. It's gonna be Pippa, Pippa I think. Pippa, you're going to have a beautiful home. How good is that? <laughs> With so many people to love you. Seven people to give you cuddles. That's right. It's pretty I'm amazing. too overwhelming. Well, no, I think it's just going to yeah. be right up her alley. She's such a cuddly, beautiful. affectionate little thing. Off you go with your new family member. Thank you. Huh? Come on. I'll check in on you soon. OK, call me if you need anything. Thank bye, you. Pippa. Bye-bye. Bye. You've got a new family member. We do yeah. indeed. <laughs>
14 and a half kilos. 14 and a half. 14. Um, I would like her to lose a couple of kilos and I think then she'd be a much healthier body condition. And the way to do that is we need to feed her for what she should be weighing, mm -hmm. not what she is weighing now. So she's weighing 14 and a half and I ideally want her to say weigh 12. It doesn't sound like a lot to us, but for a dog of her size, it is quite a lot. And you have to be aware that she's going to lose that weight slowly over three to six months. For her, two and a half kilos is a large portion of her body weight, so it is going to take her some time to shed that weight. So we pick up the bag and there's a feeding guide and we need to just have a look on the feeding guide and feed her for a dog that's weighing 12 kilos. If you're going to be mix feeding her, so giving her tins and trays as well, then that's also contributing to her calories. So the good thing about this food is it does have a recommendation if you're doing combination feeding. The biggest reason why we see obesity in our pets is because we overfeed them, particularly ones with really good appetites because they won't have an off button. They'll keep showing signs that they're hungry when often they're not. It comes from a place of love. We feed them because we love them, but in fact, it's detrimental to their health. So long term, if we don't get her weight down, she can be prone to heart disease, it can contribute to joint disease. It can cause a whole lot of other issues for her. So it's important while she's still young, let's get her weight on track so that she'll have a long and healthy life. You should never be able to see the ribs, but you should always be able to feel them when you go like this. Dr. Lisa has had to dish out some tough love to rescue dog Pippa, who's a little bit on the chubby side. A good way to think about it is to look at your fist and we never want to be able to see her ribs like this. We just want to be able to feel the ribs. And in Pippa, we can't feel them, all right? So we need to make sure that when we run our hands across her body, it's the same as gently running your hands across your knuckles when your hands like this and you can just feel the ribs rather than seeing them. If you can ever see the ribs, that means the dog's too thin. She's certainly not too <laughs> thin at the moment. <laughs> She's so excited. Exercise will play an important part in helping to keep Pippa's weight under control. She loves it down here, doesn't she? Yeah. It's like her own big backyard. And with five kids coming and going in this busy household, there's never a shortage of dog walkers bit of tugging going on there. So she's still a bit too strong for her, isn't she? Just a little bit. She's off again. Yeah, it's like she's constantly smelling everything. Yeah. Okay, guys. So yeah. this is a present. Well, it's mainly for Pippa. <laughs> but it's from uh, all of us to say thank you so much for adopting her from a shelter and for giving her a fresh start in Aww. your beautiful family. So, who wants to open it up? Me, 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 me. Okay, everyone open it up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So this is a welcome home hamper full of lots of nature's gifts, natural food for Pippa. And I know she's on a diet, but you can feed her this and we can stick to her diet plan with yep. this. Yep. And there's some toys for the kids to play with her and a new lead, which will match her unicorn outfit. <laughs> That's right. And I think she's going to look very stylish. She's she a very stylish lady, oh, little Pippi. Oh. Oh, she's actually got a bowl with her name on yeah, it. Right. How cute is that? Pippi, where are you? Look, it's your own bowl. It's your name. <laughs> oh, oh, I love Doug. Very classy. <laughs> There's an envelope here, so have a look at that. Congratulations. Six months of Nature's Gift Natural Pet Food is coming your way for your new four-legged family member. Welcome to your new home. Oh, oh thank, nice. you. thank you. That's our pleasure. You've given her a fresh start. And yeah, you've got a little bit of work to do with her diet, but if she's on a good quality food and you stick to the plan, yes, she'll she shed those rations. kilos <laughs> and she'll be fine. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. My pleasure. And you know, so if you... If you've got any more questions, you can just jump on the website and there's a whole lot of information about feeding and general care. And you know you can always call me if you've got any questions too. And I think I'm going to leave you. My sweetheart. Thank you. See so you much. guys. Bye. Bye.
Well, that's one happy family. Look, at one point, I wasn't sure if I would be able to find a dog to please all seven members of them, but they seem like they're over the moon and so is Pippa. And look, she may be causing a little bit more chaos in the family, but personally, I don't think there's anything better than the sound of kids giggling with their dog. Finding your own forever pet is easy. Wherever you live in Australia, the Real Pet Matcher can search shelters nearby to help find a dog that's just right for you. Thousands of rescue dogs are ready and waiting. All they need are generous families with hearts full of love to give them a home. 